friends now we are going to see about autonomic nervous system autonomic means automatic in nature which is not under our control it is involuntary so in the autonomic nervous system we have two components sympathetic as well as parasympathetic so we have two situations in everything one is flight or fight response other one is rest and digest means one thing when we are very exaggerated and the other thing when we are very cool and calm so when we are exaggerated the sympathetic nervous system will activate when we are very cool and calm it the parasympathetic nervous system will activate both are automatic in nature we cannot stop our heartbeat or we cannot start our heartbeat voluntarily we cannot start our digestion or we, we cannot stop our digestion so these are involuntary in nature that's why which will comes under autonomic coming to the sympathetic and parasympathetic parts first we'll see about sympathetic sympathetic we also call it as flight fright or fight response 3f so what are the organ changes will be seen in sympathetic is so sympathetic we also call it as thoracolumbar outflow means the from the thoracic and lumbar component of the sympathetic ganglia we have the nerves coming out so coming to the eyes so it will dilate the pupil when we are very surprised we can able to see the dilation of the pupil salivary glands when we are highly tensed we couldn't uh, get the mouth watering heart so it will increase the heartbeat when we are running very fast bronchi it will increase the respiration also stomach but when we are very tensed we will not feel the hungry and all because of that it will inhibit the digestion liver stimulates the glucose release so we need more amount of atp or energy to run or to be frightened so kidneys it will stimulate the epinephrine and norepinephrine release so that's why these we call it as catecholamines intestines it will inhibit the peristalsis and secretions and bladder it will relax the bladder there is no urination when we are highly tensed situations next parasympathetic this we also call it as craniosacral outflow why because craniosacral means so from the cranial we have the third seventh ninth tenth or the cranial nerves which are coming into the action for these activation of parasympathetic as well as from the sacral part of the spinal cord all these two components will comes under the parasympathetic because of that we call it as so rest or digestion system so coming to the organs i it will constrict the pupil so there is no need for any surprising so when we are very relaxed and stimulation of the salivation so when we are ready relaxed and uh, re relaxed state so we had more hunger because of that there will be stimulation of salivation and slows the heart beat constriction of the bronchi so it should be quite contrast to the sympathetic and stimulates the digestion stimulates the bile release and stimulate the peristalsis and secretion contracts the bladder means the urge to urinate will increase when we are relaxed and calm situations so that's why we call it as parasympathetic as rest and digest or parasympathetic is craniosacral outflow and sympathetic as thoracolumbar outflow so i hope you understood the basic concept of sympathetic and parasympathetic and autonomic nervous system thank you very much please do like share comment and subscribe to my channel